This is Tom from Tom TV here bringing you a highly requested tutorial. I've had about 10 15 people actually message me or comment on my last tutorial to do a tutorial on this one. So um, today I'm going to be bringing you how to add black flashes and basically how to trap edit um, in Sony Vegas. This works in 10, 11, and 12. Um, I've never seen 8 or 9, so. Uh, it may work in there, I don't know. Um, first thing, this is not my cat. Okay, I don't have a cat, but I do like cats. Um, second thing, uh, here's my audio. This is my black cinematic bars here, and the clip. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and disable resample on these. If you don't know how to do that, you just right click, go to switches, and disable the resample. Um, so basically to get started on this, uh, you're going to create a video track. So right click on your tracks and insert a video. Next thing, I've already put the markers on here where I want to do the effects. So we're going to have a nice effect right here and we're going to have one right here. So we're going to go to our media generators. We're going to click on solid color, grab the black solid color and put it above your clip. If you're using the black cinematic bars the way I do in Sony Vegas, make sure it's under that too. Um, just to be safe. Alright. So we're going to go ahead and trim our effect. So just press S on the keyboard as in snake if you don't know how to do that already. Then we're just going to get rid of this stuff. Actually, you know what? We'll make it right here too because that's where our second one is going to be. Alright. So these are basically our effects here. Right now, it's just black. That's it. Um, I do apologize. I did not play the song and clip for you, so I'll go ahead and do that right now. So that's the song and clip. Um, a couple things. If you make this effect too quick, and you know what I'm talking about in a second because I'll show you, um, it just looks basically like this. It just looks black. Um, if you make it too long, it doesn't, it just, it looks dumb. And you don't want to look dumb. So uh, the easiest way I've seen it, and there, there's a couple ways to do it, but this is the way I taught myself how to do. Uh, I'll show you. And I'll show you what it looks like when it looks dumb. So, if you go one frame over, and you basically do the effect, it just stays black. Alright? I just redid that. If you don't know how to undo things, it's Control Z. Uh, so, I'll show you how to actually do the effect. You're going to go ahead and click right here where you want it to start and go over two frames, press S on the keyboard and cut down the clip and then if you go to the top right corner here and then you'll see this little hump thing, yeah hump thing, <laughs> go ahead and just drag that over to the beginning of the effect and what that does is it gives you this, it kind of fades away so it starts black and then the capacity comes down to zero and it fades away like that so we're gonna go ahead and do that two frames over on each of these and I'm gonna make should I make that? no we'll keep that ah screw it we'll make it two frames now let's move all these no, that won't work screw it just keep it like that so we're gonna go ahead and fade all these out my screen recorder only records on 30 frames per second, so the snare effect is going to be twice as slow when you preview it on the tutorial. So when you watch the tutorial, make sure you know that 
Uh, you'll see it for yourself. Alright, so we have our effect now. Cool little snare effect. Um, I will preview this for you. Um, it'll take me a couple tries because I only have 4 gigs of RAM on my computer. So I'll probably have to play it through a couple times. But. Uh, just give me a second. Now you can probably see the effect. Alright, so as you can see, it matches up with the snares really good. Um, it has a nice fade in, fade out effect. Uh, that's basically it. That's really all you have to do. I mean, you can add bumps and flashes, you know, whatever you want to do. But uh, I'll go ahead and do another one right here for you. This is a longer snare, so you should be able to see it a little bit better. Yeah, it is kind of a pain. It takes a while, but editing always takes forever. That looks nice. So that fits it really good. Um, another thing you can do if you don't want the effect to be super dark like it is right here, you can always bring the capacity down over here. I did that a couple times in the edit in the beginning. Uh, by the way, you guys never gave me feedback on whether you like the edits in the beginning or not, so I'm going to keep doing them until you guys tell me not to. Because I actually have fun doing them. They're a lot of fun. <laughs> that down too much. Alright, well that's about it guys. Uh, you can kind of mess around with it, match it up with some cool stuff. You can also do it on like bass drops and stuff, it looks really cool. Um, it's just about being creative with it and kind of messing around. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and inbox me or add me on Skype. Um, also, if you want, I'll give you my email address, uh, which I don't check very often. <laughs> so go ahead and leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, leave some requests for other tutorials, and just let me know. Uh, besides that, guys, this is Tom. I did leave the clip and song in the description as well. Oh, um, all my past tutorial links for the downloads got corrupted, so I went ahead and re-uploaded them. Um, the link in my bumps and flashes tutorial the media the clip in there is different because I actually lost the original clip so I apologize for that my bad don't unsub me for that <laughs> but it's a clip that's similar so hopefully you guys aren't too mad at me but have a great day guys thank you so much for watching